Alright guys, welcome back to Legends of Evil, and today I'm going to talk about probably the G-Man's biggest rogue, probably his arch-nemesis, if you will. The villain in question is, of course, King Ghidorah, or as his original name is, Ghidra. Now, King Ghidorah first appeared in Ghidra the Three-Headed Monster, and was pretty much the starting point for the monster, bra kind of monster brawl kind of team. Ghidra, when he first arrived, he was pretty much... Uh, in the, in the movie, he was the established bad guy. He was like the end, one of the most powerful villains Godzilla ever fought. In, the, in his first appearance, it pretty much had these aliens take over the mind of this princess who's being hunted by assassins, pretty much trying to warn everybody, hey, Ghidra's coming to wreck your shit. Get prepared. Of course, Mothra, for some other reason that one apparently died, the other Mothra comes to appeal to Godzilla and Rodan, who are fighting each other, and they're like, hey, we should all team up because this Ghidra guy is very powerful. Of course, Rodan and Godzilla don't listen to him, and Mothra tries to go on and fight by herself against Mo against Ghidra. Keep in mind, this is a several mo This is about a movie or two right after Godzilla versus Mothra. So there's only it's still a, the new Mothra is a is still a larva, and it didn't do it didn't do so well against Ghidra, and to which later on Godzilla team Mothra t eventually convinces Godzilla and Rodan to fight alongside her, and they defeat Ghidra. Then, in, then comes Godzilla vs. Monster Zero. We find out that Ghidra, after he was a defeated, fl uh, um, is now on the pl place called Planet X. Uh, on Planet X, he's, he's quote-unquote tormenting a group of aliens call, um, who, who pretty much say, Hey, Earthlings, we're your friends here. Can we borrow God's Monsters 1 and Mon uh, Monster 1 and Monster 2, a.k.a. Godzilla and Rodan? Mothra was supposed to be in this movie as well, but however, due to budget cuts, well, due to the budget being so big that it was, they had to skip out Mothra. However, surprise, surprise, it turns out that Ghidra was under their c control the whole time, and they managed to use magnetic waves to take control of Godzilla and Rodan and, uns and sick all three monsters on the, on the planet Earth. However, they managed to get control, they managed to break free of the control of God for Godzilla and Rodan, and the two monsters team up to fight Ghidra. And that's pretty much it, that one. Following that is Destroy All Monsters, but I'll talk to, about that in a minute. Because I want to go by continuity, and Destroy All Monsters is, is quote-unquote in the future and supposed to be the true ending of the Showa se end the series. But continuing from there, we had Godzilla vs. Gigan, which had G G G uh, uh, King Ghidorah with an ally for the first time. Probably the one ally that he, you always usually see in the movies or in other forms of media with King, G with King Ghidorah. And that is Gigan. Gigan pretty much became like his partner in most ways. In that movie, King Ghidorah fought uh, Godzilla who was allied with Anguirus. And that fight is actually... It's one of the highlights of that movie, truthfully. It, it, it is, honest to God, one of the highlights. So that's not a Godzilla versus Gigan is not something interesting. But I will say stay around for Anguirus and Godzilla fighting uh, G uh, King Ghidorah and and Gigan. So that's pretty much the only real thing you need to just really watch out for is in in that kind of in that sense. Following that came in Ghidra's appearance was Destroy All Monsters. Destroy All Monsters was pretty much Ghidra, King Ghidorah I, I keep switching in between the names, I'm sorry, but King Ghidorah basically made his appearance as under control by these aliens who want to take over all the monsters. However, all the monsters break free of the control and they send Ghidra, uh, King Ghidorah down there to straighten them out. However, King Ghidorah fights about eight, not eight or nine monsters. I mean, Godzilla has a whole group of them. He has he, not, he doesn't just have, you know, Rodan, Mothra, and Anguirus at his side. He has also Gorosaurus. He has Varen the Unbelievable. He has Kumanga, the giant spider. He has Gorosaurus. He has, uh, I think he has Kamakra as well. And he has several other monsters at, um, allied with him. And they all collectively gang up on King Ghidorah and brutally murder him. I mean, like, seriously, King Ghidorah has to fight all three of these, all, like, nine, eight or nine of these monsters by himself, and he gets collectively his ass handed to him in that, mo in that movie. 
So that's pretty much King Ghidorah at the end of the of the Showa series. Now, in the Heisei series, King Ghidorah made his return and also got a rebooted origin. In that one, Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, we find out in the new version of King Ghidorah that he was from these fu created from these futuristic p pets called Dorats, from these time-traveling beings, these people from, from the future who wanted to have their own monster and remove Godzilla from the future. They replace Godzilla after he's killed as the Godzilla Sore with the Dorats, so the nuclear bomb goes out and the Dorats become King Ghidorah. So, in that sense, they, they created a new monster which erases Godzilla from the timeline, and it's always been King Ghidorah. Which makes little to no sense because when they bring up Godzilla, time travel, if you. Now, Doctor Who's kind of ruined me on time travel, but I thought about this and I was thinking to myself when the people who come back from the future after they've successfully removed Godzilla from the future and, and they didn't know that they replaced with King Ghidorah, when the people who come back to the present be like, oh, hey, King, G you know, where's Godzilla? Wouldn't people be like, who the hell's Godzilla? They would not know who Godzilla is. They think they were crazy because they've been re it's been removed. The timeline's been changed. There is no Godzilla now, so how would they know that Godzilla would be there? I don't know. I'm just... I'm just thinking out loud here. It's it's I shouldn't be really overanalyzing a Godzilla movie sometimes. Sometimes you just need to stop thinking about it. In this one, we also find out that King Ghidorah, uh, basically the god the uh, King Ghidorah in this one is a lot bigger and under the time traveler's control. It's not really alien per se. It's just alien pet monster. So in that regard, yeah. But following that. The, the U.S. makes a new god, uh, not the U.S., the, the, the Japan makes a new Godzilla who brutally kills God's, uh, the King Ghidorah in this film. By the way, guys, this is my favorite of the Godzilla series. This is my favorite Godzilla movie. It is so awesome, even though you don't really see a lot of Godzilla, but see, the time travel and the characters, they make up everything for it. And probably one of the most brutal Godzilla fights ever. I mean, King Ghidorah gets its head, one of its heads blown off, uh... It's just in totally insane. And then, who's going to stop Godzilla? Mecha King Ghidorah. And then that kind of led to the creation of the new of the Heisei Mecha Godzilla. So in that in that regard, it is really cool because it still had a long-standing form to it. And yeah, that was King Ghidorah in that film. Following that is several versions because there are a few other versions of King Ghidorah. There's one King Ghidorah. In the got in the Mothra Reborn in the Mothra Rebirth series, I think it's Mothra Reborn three, where it said that this King Ghidorah was the reason why the dinosaurs went extinct, and that one battled Mothra for some reason. It was collecting children and harvesting them. It's very weird. That King Ghidorah is very weird. Another one is that we have the Godzilla Mothra King Ghidorah All Monsters Attack movie, which was a reboot of the series because the Millennium series didn't really follow a certain continuity. The only ones that followed any continuity was Godzilla against Mechagodzilla and Godzilla Tokyo SOS. Those are the only two that had really continuity, because all of them were basically reboots and followed only the original film. In that one, in one of the versions, it had G King Ghidorah as, as the hero instead of the villain. I mean, yeah, it was kind of the hero when it became Mecha King Ghidorah, but yeah, that, let's not, that's neither here nor there. But in this one, we basically had... Uh, King Ghidorah as one of the three guardians of the world, you know, pretty much one of the three guardians. We had King Ghidorah, Baragon, and Mothra. Pretty much in that one, Godzilla is is this dark spirit incarnate, and he actually, that's one of my favorite designs for Godzilla, those hollowed eyes and very dinosaur-like form. I really dug that version of Godzilla, that, ver that variation of Godzilla. It's again, it's a strange movie, but on the other hand, it's, it's pretty much awesome. <laughs> And then, finally, we come to, to Godzilla Final Wars. In Final Wars, Godzilla battles this, this new monster called Monster X, who eventually suddenly becomes a new version of King Ghidorah called Kaiser Ghidorah. And that becomes a very epic fight, which, of course, Godzilla wins. It makes sense that at the end of the Godzilla series, Godzilla should fight his most powerful opponent. That, would, that basically shows a great send-off. That's more or less a great send-off, in my opinion. Now, among the abilities that King Ghidorah had was that he was he could fly at supersonic speeds, and he basically shot beams of electricity, or in other forms, he fought, fired gravity beams that could pick up opponents and stuff like that. King Ghidorah having three heads was actually very smart. Very 
it's said in the novel, some of the novels, that King Ghidorah was very intelligent but very arrogant. Which I don't know how monsters can have, these monsters can have arrogance. Uh, they, sometimes they have person they have personas. So yeah, maybe. But King Ghidorah has always remained one of my favorite kaiju, not just in Godzilla, you know, as a villain, but one of my favorite monsters ever. He always, whenever King Ghidorah's in a film or fighting Godzilla, it's always awesome to watch Godzilla fight arguably one of his most dangerous opponents. So yeah. Anyway, guys, I, that's pretty much all I had to say for King Ghidorah. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I've I've kind of done back to back now two Godzilla videos, more or less. Anyway, guys, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'm out.